Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I decided to challenge myself and adventure into new territory. So I'm going to be drawing a portrait. Now this is my first, legitimately my first ever portrait. So there will be mistakes. So I don't want to see people flaming the hell out of me because I know what's wrong with it. You know, after looking at it for, for two hours, I know what's wrong with it. But at the same time, I think it's a good example of, you know, it, it's nice to see someone that's good at something try something else, in my opinion. It's interesting for me personally. So I hope you think the same way. As for the subject, subject I chose someone that uh, most of you probably know. So the object of this drawing was sort of aimed for this particular audience. It's Husky Starcraft. Uh, for those of you that have no idea who that is, it's the one of the most famous Starcraft commentators on YouTube. And I guess probably in the world at this point in time. He was the first guy that I subscribed to when I actually got into Starcraft. So um, he was pretty small back then. Nothing like what he is now. He had like, I don't know, 30,000 or something subscribers. It wasn't anything major. But uh, yeah, he was the first one, so... I said, why not make it sort of a tribute to him? It probably wasn't the best time to do that, considering uh, it's my first ever portrait. So it's not going to be absolutely spectacular. I can I can say that right now, at least not for me. Who knows, maybe some of you that are very new to this sort of thing will find this amazing. But for me personally, that I've seen like hundreds of these. This is just an example of how to approach something new. I was absolutely terrified while drawing this because, for a good reason, because the human face in general is is a very tricky thing. Like people that draw animals there or trees or landscapes their entire life, they are gonna be shit when they start uh, drawing portraits. Simply because the human face is it's a completely different animal from anything else you might draw, you know. If you draw, like, comics and uh, manga and all that crap, it's it's nothing compared to, to portrait art. Some of the most successful people in this business of, of drawing portraits and selling them are... There are very few of them, that's, that's what I can say for sure. But those that are actually up there, they're amazingly good. Like, seriously, you can't tell the difference between what they draw in a photograph. It's... Uh, it's crazy, but we all got to start somewhere. And if I ever want to establish myself in a in this world of uh, drawing in pencil, then I have to to know how to draw portraits and humans in general, because not everybody will like uh, my little monsters and creatures from games and all that. Some people actually want to see you know normal stuff being drawn. And as much as I hate normal stuff, you, you know you, you got to know how to do it. You can't be uh, tunnel visioning your entire life on, on one uh, one aspect of, of this whole drawing thing. You gotta expand, branch out. <clears throat> so this was a good way to, to start at least. Uh, I will be practicing portraits more in the future, especially of famous YouTube people, because I'm sure from what I can see, most of you are, sub are subscribed more or less to the same same channels, so I'm sure most of you know all of these guys that I'm gonna be drawing in the future. So that won't be an issue. Now, as for like theory on portraits, a lot of scientific studies have been conducted that concluded beauty is actually symmetry. There's apparently a very um, precise list of, uh, of ratios, distances, mathematical distances, and proportions when it comes to different elements on the face. It's like when the eyes are a certain distance apart, or the nose is a certain distance from the mouth, or the mouth is at a certain distance from the chin, then that person is considered beautiful. If any of those ratios get messed up or the distances are too big or too small, that instantly disqualifies the concept of beauty, which is, is funny, you know? It's like, have you ever wondered what makes a person beautiful? Because I have, and symmetry is not something that you notice, but it, you don't notice it consciously. But you automatically think, oh, that, that chick is hot. Oh, but why is she hot? Why does she have a pretty face? What differences are there between 
her nose and or her face and another girl's face that's considered by normal media standards ugly. Uh, ugliness and, and beauty are, are two things that are always going to oscillate, so to say. <clears throat> Especially since uh, in the past 50 years, the concept of the notion of beauty has drastically changed from what it used to be. And with that's mostly because of the media. So I'm curious to see what's going to going to happen in the future is uh, is the renaissance concept of beauty going to repeat itself or is it going to get more and more extreme and are girls going to get more and more anorexic and the makeup industry will thrive even more and all that stuff it's uh, it's sort of interesting <laughs> but yeah back to the the human face it's um the whole symmetry thing. I'm not sure exactly how true it is. Of course, there are certain things you got to take into account. For example, a person with a big nose, they'll never be considered beautiful. Or a person that has uh, a gigantic mouth or huge lips or you know anything that's taken to an extreme sort of uh, ruins the whole beauty thing. So apparently it's a mix of ratios and distances, but also proportions like everything has to be balanced nothing can be too big or too small or, or the person is considered less than attractive also attractiveness in itself isn't just beauty attractiveness is a completely different thing it encompasses beauty but it also uh, is depends on certain chemical aspects of the body like the whole pheromones thing and uh, i've i've seen studies about how certain women get attracted to men based on the the smell of their sweat, not the actual, you know, nasty, sweaty construction worker smell, but the pheromones that are in the sweat. So they gave these uh, shirts to women to smell, and they rated some men from uh, one to five, like how attractive they found them. And the conclusion was that guys that look good actually smell good, but smell, not smell as in, using perfume, but in a woman's subconscious, they smell good. This is completely off topic. <laughs> Poor Husky here, he's getting, his image is getting destroyed by me while I'm talking about this shit, but I, it's really interesting. So I, I personally don't know what to think. I can't say if Husky is, is a good looking guy or, a, or ugly. I don't think he's ugly, but certain features on his face are, it's very hard to spot him if you, if you don't know to, what to look for. I think his nose is probably a bit big. Maybe his his uh, eyebrows are different distances. I think that's that's the most major thing. His eyebrows aren't the same distance. If you, as a reference, I used a picture of Google Images where he looks like a uh, like that um, that meme that was a while ago. What was it? It was with the dramatic look squirrel. You know, that squirrel that turns around and has like a super dramatic look on his face. Sort of this picture sort of reminded him of, reminded me of that, so I decided to go for it. But yeah, it's apparently a picture of him at some convention where he's uh, in the middle of talking or saying something, so he looks very strange. It was an accentuated uh, a picture where his features are accentuated, so I chose that one instead of just a normal everyday picture of his face. But yeah, this is uh, this is my first portrait attempt. I hope you found it interesting and I'll see you in my next drawing video. Bye.